Lord God, I just, I come to you today just with such a, a burden in this time, in this space, in this place. There's just so much on my mind and so much burdening. There's just so much in the atmosphere and in the air that's just clobbering the brain and clobbering the soul and it's just permeating and infiltrating and there's just such an infection going on. There's just so much deception out there. There's so much manipulation out there. There's so much lying. There's so much frustration and confusion and it's to a point you don't know who to believe and what to believe and everyone's just fighting with each other and there's just so much strategic force there's so much there's so many forces that are are in the midst of being they're carrying out a strategic plan they're just they're, they're every, everyone's on assignment. There's just so many things in the spiritual realm. There's so many assignments and they're combating each other and they're, they're just taking up all the airwaves and some of us are numb. Some of us are, are literally becoming brain dead. Some are giving up. Some are giving in. Some are choosing one side over the other because it's just easier to choose sides and to think for ourselves. We're, some of us are fighting each other, coming from two opposing points of views, and yet we're being deceived by the establishment. We're being deceived by the enemy. Some of us are feeling safe havens by choosing, in choosing and 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 forming a a place in in politics, and some of us are are compromising on the very beliefs that we have and. And coming from a biblical perspective, some of us are finding hope in people and in systems. And those of us that are just completely not wanting anything to do with God, we're just at the whim and the mercy of the world and of who is who is the ruler of the world, which is Satan. And those of us that don't believe in Satan are just his puppets. They're turning into his puppets. They don't even realize the, the role they're playing, that all this stuff, it's just like a big game. It, the, the very, oh, Lord God, there's so much deception, Lord God. It's like you don't even know where to turn. There's so many demonic spirits and entities just roaming about, seeking whom they may devour and choosing to wear people down. And we must open our mouths, but not to fight each other, not to oppose each other, not to make a point, not to share an opinion. We've got to stop. It's not about fighting for a person or a politician or a place or a, a role in this earth. We need to fight the forces of darkness and open our mouths against the evil that exists. And I come against Satan right now in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Adonai Elohim, I ask that your spirit, the spirit of the living God be made known. That your presence be manifest. That you would fight for us. That you are Adonai Saboeth, the master avenger. That you, Lord, are a vindicator. Lord God, Adonai Elohim, be with us now that we cry to you, Abba, Father, that we stop crying and whining to people because it isn't doing anything. It's not accomplishing anything. The only thing it's accomplishing is the enemy is literally laughing and seeing that we are literally in a catatonic state in our brain. And the very... <clears throat> The very musings we have, the very way that we're forming ideas about what to do, about the dilemma we're in, is just a waste of time. Those of us that hate what's going on, no matter what side you're on, if you hate what's going on, just know that you're not going to change it. And that is a word that so many of you don't want to hear. You don't want to believe it. And I understand your passion. I understand you don't want to give up the fight. And I'm not telling you to just give up and give in. 
But what are you surrendering to? What are you believing in? Nowadays, I see, Lord, that your word is being made null and void. I see that your word is being mocked, ridiculed. I see that your word is just called ancient and old and outdated and numb. And people are associating your word with people on this earth that are trying to affiliate themselves with you. There, there are people on this earth that are trying to use you for their personal or political gain. There are systems in place. There are rulers and powers and principalities that are trying to use you, your word, and your truth for their gain. Lord God, there is a mass deception going on. And it is just breaking everyone down. The whole body. Everyone. Even those that are unsaved as of yet. That you know that in 10, 20 years will be saved. Do we not consider them the body because they're not saved yet? Oh, Lord God, have mercy on us. Can we not see? See the way we're being deceived. It's all a big game, Lord God. There's so many ploys in place. Oh, Lord God, I see that I must focus on you and I must focus on your word. And I must recognize that if there was ever a need for discernment, it is now. It is not our righteousness that is going to accomplish anything. It is not us fighting tooth and nail. And I'm not even talking about physical violence because right now nonviolence is, is glorified. Civil protest, nonviolent protest. And I'm not saying I'm against protest. What I'm saying is that nonviolent ways of achieving what we want is glorified. But who and what is to be glorified? Lord God, I don't want you to be misunderstood. And I see the ways that some Christians are latching on to any hope of this world. That we're going to accomplish what we, we're, we want to accomplish. That we're actually going to make the days better. Lord God, I'm not suggesting that we can't have our own families and our own lives and those in our circles and our communities receive the light of God and receive the hope that you provide and that we would experience joy as we know that your strength, the joy of the Lord is our strength. I'm not saying that that's not the case, but that's not what's happening. Oh Lord God, there is such deception we are at each other's throats and we're all worried about the country being divided and people being divided. But that's not what this is about because there is a division that's going to happen. It is foretold. There will be a division. There will be those that follow and worship the Lord God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Israel. And there will be those that don't. There is a division that's happening. We can't avoid the division. Wake up. But those that hate God, the only thing I have to add is separate God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit from people. Because there are people, even God, quote unquote, godly people that are using God for their own devices, for their own purposes, for their own plans, for their own agenda, and it's making God look bad. Never mind that there's an agenda to make God look bad. We're looking for good days. We're, we're so fed up that we're looking for sunshine and rainbows and unicorns. And right now we're literally willing to admit that we don't even want to hear about politics. We don't want to hear about beliefs. We don't want to hear about religion. We don't want to hear about tragedy because we're all tired and rightly so. But it is not sunshine and rainbows and unicorns and flowers that is going to save this world. It is 
That is who is going to save the earth. That is going to who is going to save the world. That is the king of the universe. That is going to save us because we cannot save ourselves. We cannot no longer ever could save the icebergs. We are to be good stewards. We are to love our neighbor. There is no doubt. But this has gone too far, too fast, and it's still going and it won't stop. Oh, mi arrosho, mi arra kara barra sota kara baria. Oh, mi arra tata ko, mi arra shasta te kara baria, sata kara baria. I mi ono no kara barra sota kara baria, shasta te kara baria, sata kara baria. We, we all have a plan and a purpose in the kingdom. It is a matter of whether we forfeit that purpose and plan in the kingdom. But God is going to utilize what is happening for his own purposes. There are things he allows. He knows. He sees. And there are some things that our free will is just a, 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 a snowball effect of free will. That will never stop God's plan, redemptive plan, and ultimate salvation. But, but, but. We must remember to not condemn and judge anyone in these times because some people are being used for a purpose that we can't understand but those that have forsaken God completely those that are not willing to read the full word of God those that despise God and the Holy Spirit I come against every force of darkness right now in Yeshua's name, in Yeshua Hamashiach's name. I come against every force of darkness. Anyone that's listening at the sound of my voice that wants to agree, that wants to agree in faith, that accepts Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. That if you want to agree in prayer right now, then let this be your prayer. Let this that I declare right now in the spiritual realm be made manifest in your life. May the very words activate in your atmosphere. I bind and rebuke the spirit of Satan. All Demonic spirits and entities right now are bound. They are rebuked by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Get thee behind me, Satan. You have no authority here. I am a blood-bought child of God, of the Most High God. You cannot deceive us. As we fill our minds with the word of God, with the Torah, Holy Spirit, I ask you to be here right now. Oh, mi yada papa para sata kara para dia, shasata kara para dia. I just declare this for your saints, Lord God. I ask this of you, and I use the authority that you've given me through your Son Jesus. When he was slain as a Pascal lamb. As I am a born again Christian. Having been immersed in the mikvah. Giving my life to you. And oh Lord on a daily basis in repentance. You were wounded for our transgressions. Bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace is upon you. And by your stripes we are healed. 
Though all my sins be as scarlet, you make them white as snow. I call upon you right now, Lord, and I use the authority that you've given me to have every devil that is tormenting our lives, that is in our atmosphere, that is entering our minds through media and television and music and songs and, and, and TV shows and what we hear at work and what we hear from our friends and from our loved ones, all the stuff that's entered our ears and our eyes and our minds in any way, any way that we've personally been infiltrated in a physical way by lies of the enemy. I break that off of us right now in Yeshua's name. I cleanse us through your blood of all unrighteousness. We are the righteousness of God in Christ. In Messiah Yeshua. Satan, you cannot have a hold of us. I am, de I am decreeing and declaring and proclaiming God's word right now. That whoever is agreeing in this prayer is free from the bondage of Satan. That the chains are being taken off. They're being cut off right now. Any chains since the last time that you've prayed, since the last time you've had a deliverance experience, everything that's going on in the world right now, that you are freed from the chains of the enemy. They're coming off. You are free. Jump up and down in your freedom right now as an expression of your faith in this prayer. Raise your hands to the Lord. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was, who is, and who is to come. It is the Lord God, Adonai Elohim, Yahweh, that we surrender and submit to. It is Yahweh that we glorify and we magnify and we lift up and we raise up on high. It is Yahweh that our loyalties are to. It is who we look to. It is who we believe in. It is who we fight for. It is who we accept all blessings. It is who we accept from all favor. We accept protection. We accept Every good thing God has for us, even if our flesh doesn't understand. We must never allow the enemy to silence us. There are so many marches that are talking about being silenced as a people. But the real silence is those that silence the Lord our God. So that we no longer feel like we can speak his word. That we can confess the word of God. That we can share our testimonies. That we can glorify him. And when we need him, that we can open our mouth to him at all times. And not feel oppressed and suppressed. Lord God, I come against right now oppression. I loose the spirit of the living God in our lives. That he would free us. There is liberty in God. That is true freedom. We talk about land of the free, home of the brave. And I am not ever one that is going to stomp on the American flag. I am not going to be one that would ever desecrate everything that has formed the union that exists. And I will always uplift first responders and people that fight for our rights and people that, even people that are grassroots, people that are fighting for good. I am not going to bash them or look down upon them. But true freedom and true liberty does not come from a person, but it comes from Jesus Christ, a man who is never just a man. He was word made flesh. I just make an urgent call to all Christians. Do not get comfortable in the systems of this world and in the way things look right now. Do not get comfortable and do not make sure you know who your loyalty is toward because not everything is as it seems. We must be vigilant. 
And to all those that don't believe in God and you think that everything is falling apart, nothing has changed because you're taking your loyalty to the same system that has got you and us in the mess in the first place. Oh, Lord, I thank you that not only are you our salvation, but you are the very way, the truth, and the life. You are the light of the word, the world. Oh, you are the light of the word too, aren't you? Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. <coughs> oh, my God. I pray for discernment right now. I ask that you would give us your, your mind, that you would give us your revelation, your wisdom. Help us to understand the times that we are in. Help us to see and, and, and be able to designate good from evil. Oh, Right now, we've gotten so involved in all the workings of the mind. We've gotten so involved, involved in, in, in opinions and thinking that this is doing any good, but it is not. The battle is not ours. It is the Lord's. What is our focus? We're so bent on trying to convince people. Oh, Lord God. Have mercy on us. Oh, I come against the spirit of depression in Yeshua's name. I come against the spirit of suicide in Yeshua's name. I come against the spirit of hatred in Yeshua's name. Loose your peace. I loose shalom peace in Yeshua's name. Lord God, I ask that you would give us your assignments. Give us what we need to make a difference in our day and in our world. And let us think about what is unseen. We're so focused on what is seen. We think it's the end all be all. Things are not going to get any easier or better. I give your mind rest in Yeshua's name. That you would feel the peace just come over you. That his 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 living water would just wash over you and not only cleanse you of all unrighteousness, but that it would nourish you and wash away all the garbage we've taken in over the past several weeks and months and years. Let us see clearly what is going on. And I trust you, Lord, that each and every person you will share what you need to according to your will. I thank you for your word and your way. I thank you for your Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. Abba, Father. Abba. Abba. 
We love you. We're so sorry for having forsaken you. We're so sorry for being so focused on this world. We're so f sorry for being focused on thinking, what can we get out of this system? We're so sorry for not spending time with you, but spending more time on social media. We're so sorry for doubting you. We're so sorry for putting trust in peoples instead of you. We're so sorry for ignoring your word and what you say, the way you say things are going to be. So sorry for getting caught up in anger and sadness. Abba, we just want to feel your love and your peace. We want to know that you got us that you're holding us. El Shaddai. Forgive us, Father, for we know not what we do. All the words back and forth, God. Just all these words back and forth, just talking and talking and talking and talking and figuring it out and figuring it out and trying to figure it out. And, oh, Lord God, our minds are going and our hands are going and our feet are going and our cars are going. And we're just going, 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 going. But where are we going? There are so many people, Lord, that they just want to help. They want, to, they want to make the world a better place. They value the gifts that you've given us on earth. They value nature that you've gifted us. They value all these things. They just want to do the right thing. They want to do the right thing for the next generations. Holy Spirit, I just pray that you would speak to everyone according to your will that we would see what's really going on, that we would no longer be deceived by the enemy. There are some people that don't even believe in, in an enemy. There are some people that are so steeped into an anti-God agenda that they can't even see it. Forgive us, Father, for we have sinned. We haven't put you first. You've been left by the wayside. And years and years of different religions have caused people to despise you. The very, the very authorities and institutions of this world have caused us to despise you. Because they've used your word. They've used some of your truths. And they've perverted it. Oh, how I wish people could see your truth. But all I can do in the meantime is say I love you. And I'm sorry. And we need you. We need you now more than ever. Come into our homes and give us rest. Come into our homes and give us peace. And I know it takes our free will to bring you into the home by reading your word out loud and by praying and spending more time with you. I know we need to invite you in. And I'm inviting you in right now, Abba Father. I'm inviting you into my life. I'm inviting you into my home. I'm inviting you into my space. We need you now more than ever. I thank you that you're here to help us and guide us and protect us. I thank you that you've given your son, Yeshua, who died for our sins. And I thank you that you've given us the Holy Spirit as a comforter, an advocate, a, guider, a, guide, a guidance, a counselor, a teacher. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here, and I'm sorry if I've grieved you. 
I'm sorry if I've said words out of my mouth or there were actions that I took part in that grieved you. I ask for forgiveness, God, and that the Holy Spirit would have its way to heal our minds, heal our bodies, restore the very essence of what you've given us. That we can fight the good fight of faith. What is the good and acceptable purpose of our Lord? The high calling. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for this time of prayer. May God bless us. May you bless us, Lord. And keep us. And your face shine on us. And help us through our day. I, I, I pray that you would enrich our lives. But more than anything, that you would go before us and be our rear guard. That you would give us discernment. And that your presence go with us. So that demons will flee at all times out of our existence. Right now I command ministering spirits in Yeshua's name be dispatched to every person listening. Unless they don't want it. That way there we have helpers with us. Protecting us and guiding us in your truth and in your way. Working on our behalf on all times and speaking to others in the heavenly realm on our behalf. That is my prayer in Yeshua's name. Thank you, Lord, for this time with my friends and loved ones. And I'm going to close this prayer with them. So, Lord, I just pray in impartation. We need it in these times, the times that we're in, where we're being deceived so heavily by what we see and hear. And we need to start focusing on that unseen realm, in your faith, in your hope, in your way. Thank you, Lord. In Yeshua's name, amen and amen.